Have you always dreamed of being a garbage man? In space? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to teach you how to be a salvager in Star Citizen. Here's everything you need to know about salvaging in the Reclaimer. Every step on how to do it effectively and best crew options. Stick around until the end to find out how much money you can make per hour if you pilot this massive ship alone. You can find salvage wrecks in asteroid fields and Lagrange points, which are the space stations that have asteroids around them. You could salvage any destroyed ship or even a brand new ship as long as it has its shields down. But if you can find them, the best things to salvage are these little ship pieces that I like to call chicken nuggets. Here's how you find salvageable ships and identify chicken nuggets amongst asteroid fields. First of all, press V to activate scanning mode when you're in an asteroid field. Roll your middle mouse wheel so the field of view is set to 360 scanning radius and hold tab to scan all around you. You should have some box icons pop up with distance markers above them. These could be salvageable wrecks or they could be mining asteroids. Pick one that's closest to you and point your ship in its direction. Once you're looking right at it, scroll your mouse wheel until the scanning field of view reads two degrees and then hold tab again to scan. If you did this correctly, then the box icon should have turned into one or multiple small white icons. Now, if only one white icon appeared, it's either a single salvageable ship or mineable asteroid, or if it's multiple, then it's either chicken nuggets or a mining asteroid that will contain quantanium. So it's a sign of a payload, essentially, and that's what you're looking for. Now, to determine if it's an asteroid or a wreck, with your nose still pointed at the white icon, hold down left mouse button. If you're aiming right at it and you're close enough to it, your ship should begin scanning. If it's a legitimate salvage, then you will see this icon pop up. Sometimes you can lose your marker. If this happens, then restart the process until you're sure you're onto the goods. Remember, it's V, 360 degrees, tab, two degrees, tab, and then hold left mouse button to scan. Once you get close to your salvaging target, park your garbage truck right up almost so your nose is touching it, but just a bit lower than the pilot seat. This will allow your salvages to get full coverage of it. If you're doing this solo, get out of the pilot seat and jump into the salvage operator seat. Now, the salvage operator will be able to see a colored outline around the chicken nugget or salvageable ship. Green means this salvage is juicy and it will take less scraping to be able to fill up a crate of RMC or recycled material composite, which is the commodity we're, we're collecting and selling. Blue means there's still heaps of salvage on it. Now, all the chicken nuggets you find will usually either be blue or green, which is why they should be prioritized. While most ships will either be yellow or red, which both have a lower amount, forcing you to do a lot more scraping to fill each box. For instance, it takes about 20 seconds with a blue chicken nugget to fill one SCU of RMC, but it takes over twice that long at about 45 seconds with a yellow outlined hull for every one SCU of RMC, valued at 7,700 Alpha UEC. Wait until it says the filler station is ready again once you've filled one box, then continue scraping. Once the second cargo box is full, you'll get a warning saying the filler station is blocked. If you're solo, at this point, hop out of your operator seat and sit in the second operator seat opposite. These two seats both have separate filler stations, so you can continue to scrape hulls for another two SCU before needing to move the cargo. By this point, we now have four SCU of RMC in the Reclaimer, which is valued at a total of 30,800 Alpha UEC that we've gathered in about a minute and a half of gameplay. Not bad if you're doing this solo, but now we've got to run across the distance of the ship to the salvage processing deck to ready the stations before we're able to gather any more. This is the main thing that will slow down your ability to make money on the Reclaimer if you're not flying with a crew, but personally I find the run to the fill stations a nice jog to do than on the Vulture. 
the vulture has this ladder that you need to go up and down all the time and it's never a seamless transition and just feels a bit more in the way and clunky than the reclaimer run once you're in the salvage processing deck you'll need to use a multi-tool with attractive beam attachment to move the two one SCU boxes of RMC out of the way of the filler stations and onto the cargo grid just to the side of the stations. Once you've moved those, go up to the filler stations and eject the third and fourth boxes on either machine and add those to the grid also. The grids on the side can only store cargo one box high, which is fine if you're running the Reclaimer solo, but when you have a full crew, this deck will be filled up with boxes and someone will be required to shift them down to the cargo hold. And with a whopping 300 SEU of cargo space, that means you could store over 2,310,000 Alpha UEC of RMC with a full competent crew. Speaking of crews, if manning with a crew, for optimum efficiency, it would be five. One pilot making sure the scrapers always have a good angle on quality salvage, two salvage operators doing the salvaging and two people in the salvage processing deck slash cargo hold removing and stacking the boxes. If this crew split the profit equally from a full cargo hold of 300 SCU of RMC, they would stand to profit 462,000 Alpha UEC each per cargo load. You can store far more than 300 SCU of cargo on the Reclaimer, but it won't be on a cargo grid, and these things can bug out and clip through floors and all sorts of stuff. So for the sake of consistency, I'm going to use the 300 SEU value as the max amount for my calculations on profit made per cargo carried. You could crew it with four people and really put the pressure on the person stacking boxes in the processing deck. It might take longer to fill an entire cargo hold, but with a four-way split, I would stand to make 577,500 Alpha UEC each. Now, it is a good idea to have an escort if you can. At least a fighter just to scout around and make sure you're not being stalked while salvaging. But if you've got a good crew and they can jump to action quickly manning the turrets and your pilot is skilled at getting you out of tough spot, then you should be okay. It's worth keeping in mind though, that in the current build of the game I'm playing, I've seen ballistic weapons take out a reclaimer in 30 seconds. So either your crew can confidently get to the turrets in time to fight back, or your pilot needs to be spooling the QT drive as soon as an enemy contact has been confirmed. So just keep that in mind and don't take on anything too risky if your cargo hold is nearing capacity. But if you were going to hire an escort and cut them in on the profits, a six way split of a full cargo hold would net everyone on board 385,000 Alpha UEC. But but if you also have them scouting for the next ideal patch of chicken nuggets to salvage, they could potentially increase the speed of filling your cargo hold by a lot while your reclaimer pilot is helping position your scrapers. Less downtime scraping means more money overall, so they could help to pay for themselves, even if you're never attacked. And the footage you're watching, I'm casually crewing the reclaimer solo for an hour while I was watching other things on the screens. It was pretty chill. I managed to scrape a patch of chicken nuggets and the entire underside of an 890 jump. And after the hour was up, in total, I managed to gather 40 SCU of RMC, which I then took to a TDD to sell PlanetSide for a total profit of 308,000 Alpha UEC each, which isn't that bad for just an hour of casual work. So in short, is salvaging on the Reclaimer profitable solo? Hell yeah. Is it more profitable to salvage with a full crew? Hell fucking yeah. If I didn't have to run up and down constantly taking breaks in between salvaging, I could have hoovered up that stuff infinitely faster. And with the amount of money that you make by doing it, you can easily pay your crew as well. So everyone comes out of it with a nice amount of money. And unlike the Vulture's 12 SCU of cargo, the 300 SU means that you can stay out there for a good amount of time salvaging till your heart's content. And that's everything that you need to know about salvaging in the Reclaimer in 3.18. If there's any more updates to it, I'll try and post it on here. But until then, my name's Dead Leader. I'll see you out in the verse. Dead Leader.